By the end of this training, you will be able to perform the steps for setting up the new pre-consolidation function and understand the process. Consolidation brings together ledger information into a unified set of financial statements for a parent company. It is a legal requirement if multiple entities operate together across companies and geographies. This will help the financial consolidation by providing the right information in real time. Please note that a secondary activity code, CSL1, manages the dependencies between the codes CSL and PRCSL. When PRCSL is moved from no to yes, the accounting entry transaction must be revalidated. The flow and partner codes are hidden by default and should be set to display or entered. If entries exist or have been changed prior to the new pre-consolidation setup, you will need to execute a balance resync. A new checkbox has been added to indicate if the ledger will be used for pre-consolidation. If selected, the new balance table will be updated according to setup. An accounting model can have more than one consolidation ledger. The flow code defined at the journal code level can be used as a source for the flow code on the entries. It will be used depending on other setup and rules. The new consolidation setup is available on the reporting tab. There are six new values available for the new management of the pre-consolidation. The partner code defined at the BP level can be used as a source for the partner code on the entries. In the import-export templates, you will now see the added field. There is also a new field of GES-GAU now appearing in the journal entry transactions. To use consolidation with our system, we want to make sure consolidation is turned on at the folder level. So under Setup, under General Parameters, under Folders, on the Options tab, We want to make sure the PRCSL pre-consolidation financials is set to yes. We also can set our ledgers up for consolidation. So under setup, under organizational structure, under ledgers, we now have a consolidation checkbox for each ledger. Remember, we can have unlimited consolidated ledgers per count core model. There have been two new fields added for importing and exporting. So under Setup, under Usage, under Import-Export Templates, if we look at the fields on the GAC accounts import export template, we'll see our two new fields. They are the partner and entry partner. On the journal entries, we now have a partner field. We can set that up by going under setup, under financials, under journal entry transactions. And on the Lines tab, notice we now have a Partner field. And it needs to either be entered or displayed.
there are also some new parameter values for consolidation. And they can be found under Setup, General Parameters, Parameter Values. They are under the CPT Accounting Group, Accounting Chapter, and we'll look at the CSL Consolidation Group. Here we have our new parameters. We can set a default partner, export templates, flow, and carry forward flow. We can set a flow code on our journal codes. So if we come under common data and come down to our GL accounting tables and go into our journal codes, we now have the ability to set a default flow code. We can also set a partner code on our business partners. So if we come back under common data, come down to our business partners, and come onto the accounting tab, notice we can set a partner field. And last, we can put a flow on our account level. So if we come back under Common Data and we come down into our GL Accounting Tables and go into our Accounts on our Reporting tab, we can now have Consolidation Flow Management. We can set a flow if it's a debit or a credit. as well as partner management. Let's take a look at using pre-consolidation in our system. We'll come to the Financials module and select Journal Entry. We'll select the one-page column entry and we'll add a new journal entry. Our site will be NA011 and our entry type will be EXPNS, and we'll leave it today's date. The journal code that pops in with the expense entry type, if we look at that, we'll notice that it has a flow code of 001 set. We'll continue on with our journal entry, accepting all the defaults, and we'll come down into the grid. The first account number we're going to look at is our AR account number, so we'll put in 12100, and we'll associate it with business partner NA005, and we'll give it $100. Now let's look at the flow code and the partner code. Notice the flow code of 001 pulled in and the partner of NA003 pulled in. Where did the partner of NA003 pull in? Let's take a look at partner NA005. And we'll notice from the accounting tab, we have partner NA003 set on the accounting tab in the partner field. So it pulled from there. Let's take another entry look. And this time we'll look at our revenue account of 41100. And we'll put in $50. And let's look at our transaction for our partner in our flow. Our partner is NA004 and our flow is 001. Where did the partner NA004 come from? If we look at the account number, we notice that on the reporting tab, it's set up to have a mandatory flow and a mandatory partner. Since we didn't determine a partner, it pulled from the parameter that was set. And last, but let's look at a, another account number. This time we'll look at our expense account number 7900, 
and we'll put in another $50. And this time when we look at our partner in flow, we have none. And so let's go look at our account number 70900. And notice that on the reporting tab, we do not have flow or partner management turned on. Now let's create another journal entry. This time, it'll be for site NA011, but our entry type will be GENAJ. And the journal code here does not have a default flow. And we'll accept all of our defaults. And we'll come down to our grid. We'll enter account number 70900, which we know does not have any partner flow turned on. We'll enter in our $100. And we'll look at our partner and flow. And they are both blank. We'll come down to another line. And this time, we're going to enter in account number 12100. And it's requesting a business partner. So we're going to go ahead and put in our NA005. And we'll put in $50. And we'll look at our partner and flow here. We have a partner of NA003 and a flow of 12C. We know the partner NA003 pulled from our business partner NA005, but where did the 12C come from? Well, if we go back and look at our account number, we'll come under Common Data, GL Accounting Tables, Accounts. And if we look at account 12100, On the reporting tab, we'll notice that the flow is optional and the debit of 12D or credit of 12C pulls in and the partner is optional. We'll close the page and go back to our other screen. Our last transaction we'll look at is our revenue account and we'll put in $50. And let's look at our flow and our partner here. Notice it pulled the flow of 40C from the account and partner NA004. Let's go look at this account to verify where they came from. We'll come to our reporting account tab. And notice that our flow is mandatory, so since we didn't have a business partner, it pulled it from our parameters. It grabbed our 40D or our 40C um, on our system. After viewing this module, you have now learned the steps to setting up the new pre-consolidation function and the process.